Hello student, in this second video for chapter 15, our environment, we will learn about food chain and food web. In the ecosystem, the flow of energy starts from the sun and from there it comes to the vegetation where the autotrophs produce the energy for the rest of the ecosystem and then it moves from one organism to the other organism as can be seen in the figure over here. Energy produced by the plants is consumed by the grasshoppers. Frogs eat away the grasshoppers. Snakes get the energy from the frog and snakes are eaten up by the eagles. At the end, the decomposers decompose the eagles and go back to the plants. So this cycle is known as a food chain. In a food chain, each organism obtains energy from a one level below. This way, organisms can be grouped as a flow of energy in the ecosystem, which is a one-way process. This concept was initiated by the African Arab scientist al jahiz in the 9th century. There is a unidirectional flow of energy from sun to the producers and then a series of consumers of various types. Thus, in a food chain, always a straight and progressive straight line is maintained. This food chain helps us in understanding food relationship and interactions among the various organisms in an ecosystem. This relationship is both for the nutrition as well as the toxic agents which we will understand later in the biological magnification. So far we have seen and understood that each food chain has its own steps at the labels. These levels are called trophic levels and the bottom most is the autotrophs or the producers which fix up the solar energy and make available for the heterotrophs or the consumers. Then come the primary consumers followed by the secondary and the tertiary consumers. At each level there is a loss of energy when it is transferred from one level of trophic to the second trophic level. So far we have drawn food chain as a straight path, but in reality it is not so easy and simple because at each level organism has multiple choice where it can be eaten up. Say for example grass can be eaten up by the cow, it can be eaten up by the goat, it can be eaten up by human being directly. The grasshopper can be eaten up by the snake or the birds can eat it directly. Birds can eat snake. So there is a one to many relationship at each level. Therefore, what happens that instead of the straight line food chain, the relationship becomes a series of branching and this series of branching structure as shown over here is called food web. So a food web is a natural interconnection of food chains in a graphical representation of what eats what in an ecological community as shown over here. Food chain is a straight line graph, whereas food web is a branched structure or the interconnection between the various food chains. Flow of energy in the ecosystem is shown here by the energy flow diagram. This diagram tells us two things. One, flow of energy is unidirectional. That is what the energy has been passed from one level to the second does not come back to the first. Second, between the different trophic levels, the energy diminishes. According to one study, only 1% of the solar energy is consumed by the autotrophs and herbivorous, what consumes the energy from the plants, only 10% of that gets passed to the next level. Rest of the 90% energy is either dissipated as heat or is consumed in the day-to-day -day activity of the whole organism in its own development or the growth. In the previous classes, we have learned about the pollution. We have studied how the toxic substances pass through the polluted water to the groundwaters and the plants. Here the diagram shows a aquatic food chain. Here we can see that toxic substance like DDT becomes increasingly concentrated within living organisms at each trophic level as they move up in the food chain. This tendency of pollutants to become concentrated in 
successive trophic levels is called biological magnification. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, please subscribe the channel. Thanks again.